So, uh, I think Manish has already started the ball rolling by uh, telling about the observation as a strategy. And uh, I think it is a very, very important part of our treatment. Because the most important thing is when we are not sure, it is better to be let the patient be comfortable and mentally at ease. What Manish was pointing out that we may lose the patient, we actually may lose the patient because some of them go you say, oh, you have got glaucoma when we are even ourselves not sure. And I have seen that a number of these patients have actually committed suicide. So one has to be very, very sure because of the presence of Google, but they can simply lose the plot. <clears throat> so if you are just observing, mentally the patient is at peace. <clears throat> there are no side effects or financial loss of putting a medication. There is no time wasted on putting the medication. But observation could be a tricky part if the patient is one-eyed. If the patient wants and demands actually that he should be treated, when he is unlikely to follow up, when he has a positive family history. Again, in the family history, you have to be very careful. So many times my students said, family history is positive. So just show the record of the family. And then you will realize uh, probably there is a ocular hypertension or there is nothing much. But then there's a family member which has gone blind. In that case, you have to be very, very aggressive. So observation would be a part in OAG suspect, ocular hypertension, ACG groups, the NTG group. So let's stay for the OAG. Yes, we have already covered pretty much everything uh, because the disc may be suspicious, fields are suspicious, OCT. This, that I think already you people have all talked about always to remember that in these kind of cases, structural damage is likely to be the earliest, though this is not the rule that sometimes it can happen the other way too. So these have already been shown very nicely that how over the years, you must take a very clear view that they may be generalized rim thinning. They may be just small things which are happening, which you may not be able to pick up very clearly. So observation, but once you have a hemorrhage, you know that things are not in the right way. But again, if you have a bad disc because let us say myopia or morning glory or something like that, you will have a bad field and you will have a bad OCT. So it may be very, very tough to observe and how to follow up. In these situations, doing repeated pressures or repeated diagonal variations may be the answer in some times. And now we know then some of these bad discs, OCTA is now coming up, which may be be superior to the OCT per se in determining these changes. And we now know that OCTA, even in advanced glaucoma, in advanced myopia, could tell us whether glaucoma is also occurring or not. So visual field, we have already talked about, you have to check for new defect, enlargement of the pre-existing defect, deepening of the defect. And uh, however, there are so many problems with the fields. It is very easy for us to say that, okay, we'll do six fields in two years, but where is the patient? He is not going to come for that many points. Plus there's an, uh, though we have all these strategies which have already been talked about, there is a learning defect, long-term fluctuation, already bad field, other pathologies which are going to complicate the matters for us. So, and again, OCT like uh, Prateep has already clearly defined everything, but yes, we have to understand that OCT would be good for you in the very early stages where it is really, really useful to detect early changes and you can change your step from observation into action. Pachymetry is important because thinner the corneas, you have to be more very suspicious and aggressive. Just uh, to show you how observation can also lead you to problems. A uh, patient with one eyed patient, 620 micron thickness, diagonal variation 20 to 24 millimeters, field is normal, disc is normal, everything looks good. and uh, so I sit on it and I say, all right, come back after three months. The patient walks in after one year. And what we realize is, oh my God, the field is still normal, but there is an early wedge defect over here. That means already OCT changes would have shown us that there are changes. And once we go back, we realize that Parks had already told us that observation could not be a good idea if you are correcting the uh, CCT. You know, especially in models like STAR, you may be underestimating and creating trouble for yourself like happened in this case. So in cases of ocular hypertension, yes, you can observe 
but if at any point of time 28 mm or more of pressure is there family history is there crvo brvo or, or there is a thin cornea other eye is affected oct is doubtful field is doubtful and one eyed patient so it was already written but i messed this up so we have to be very careful not to observe those kind of patients again primary angle closure by definition primary angle closure suspect will be the one in which more than 270 degrees of posterior trabecular meshwork is not seen but if it is not seen what do you do if you start do, you can do all these tests but most of them are unreliable even an anti segment oct will not definitively tell you whether we have to treat it actually if you go on to treat all these cases then we thousands and millions that you have to treat by doing a peripheral iridotomy and iridotomy has its own side effects even if 5% get cataracts we will have a huge huge number over there you will end up elevating pressure in some of them which are absolutely normal so again observation as a pacs is one of the best strategies unless you find that there is a family history of angle closure it's a one eyed patient where the other eye is having a pac pacg or an acute attack will need repeated dilatations there is a history of intraocular pressure elevation or halos around light which is signifying then you should go ahead and not give up the observation part in these cases what about platyoiris so once you have done an iridotomy and uh, you dilate you find that the angle is still getting closed but if despite the angle getting closed pi is okay the fields are normal the disc is normal the oct is normal we may just follow up so we know that the valsalva increases synechia to closure and there is a possibility that over the period of time there may be problems but what can we do giving pilocarpine can be a big headache for the patient doing aridoplasty could work for some time but not for very long time lens extraction obviously in most of these situations out of it so primarily you have to observe but very very carefully and the earliest point you may have to intervene what about ntg should i treat or should i observe so we had a case 57 year male came for routine eye checkup and both eyes myopia uh, sorry uh, both eye right eye 66 vision left eye 618 this eye was having a amblyopia uh, the disc was so obvious superior damage here uh, inferior one over here so very very clear things and uh, that it is a glaucomatous damage uh, all the pressure in the dynamic variation were normal the cct was okay so what are we supposed to do so we put the patient on medication and uh, making a provisional diagnosis of ntg and called him after 3 months and what he happens after that is that the patient walks in after 2 years he stopped the medication in 3 months everything is stable and we were wondering whether we were right in starting the treatment or the patient was right in just observing himself so this is the problem with ntg and 40% of ntg may be okay without treatment for a long long time you have to be sure that it is not a steroid induced glaucoma which has died down wasner schlossman traumatic sudden elevation all these cases will settle down and need not be treated only treat if they are setting fixation iop is in the higher range or there is a disc hemorrhage or there is a wider diagonal variation there is a family history younger age vasospasm or myopia so observation has to be rigorous two monthly iop must be done 6 to 12 monthly fields or fundus photo and oct must be done must have a contact number of the patient and send them an sms so that you are legally safe and treat at the earliest sign of progression thank you very much for your kind